we're going to be making a no sew bleached drop cloth curtain. To get started, I have the um, Chicago Canvas and Supply, their drop cloth. I got this on Amazon and I will have the link below. I, I like or prefer this drop cloth because it is 100% cotton and I have found that 100% cotton um, will take to the bleach better. I'm going to go ahead and take the drop cloth off out of the packaging. And I got the 9 by 12 because um, I have, I'm going to do floor to ceiling curtains and I have 12 feet of window to cover. So it's pretty big. Um, so I'm going to fold my drop cloth in half lengthwise to find the middle and then I'm going to just make a stitch or a cut in it. And like I said, the nice thing about drop cloth is once you start to rip it, it tears straight. So I'm just going to tear this all the way down. And snip the end. All right, so now I have two panels. Two big panels. I'll set these aside. And so when you're doing, when you're bleaching your drop cloth, it's really important that you have the hottest water you can. So set your wash machine on the hottest setting and you're going to have to use like a lot of bleach. Like when you think you're using a lot of bleach, you're probably going to need to use more. I am going to bleach both panels at the same time. I know some people will only bleach one panel at a time, but I have a large capacity wash machine and it can hold kind of double the load. So I'm going to, while I'm filling up with water, go ahead and add my bleach. And I'm just using Clorox and I'm going to, for two panels, I'm going to use the entire bottle of bleach. So I'm just going to close my lid and let this circulate around to combine the bleach in. Alright, after I let this combine for a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and put my drop cloth in here. Right. So I'm just going to put this drop cloth in here. And this will kind of get stringy like this, but that's fine. We, when we no sew hem it, it will. When we no sew hem it, it will incorporate. So I'm going to put one panel in and then let it incorporate for a little bit. It's a really stiff and kind of thick material, but going through this bleaching process really breaks down all the fibers. And really, when you're done, it turns out to be a super soft and really nice um, material. And so it, the fibers don't want to take to bleaching. So that's why you have to leave it. I'm going to leave these drop cloths in my tub for probably eight to nine hours. I'll come and check on them probably halfway through. I'll add some more hot, hot water. I'll probably get my stock pot and fill it up with hot water because we really want the hot water of the bleach to really break down all the fibers of the material. So, all right, now I'm gonna add my second drop cloth in here, my second panel of the two. All right, so I have both my panels in there. I have my wash machine on the hottest setting and I am letting it kind of incorporate the panels into the water. Um, once it gets ready to switch over, I will go ahead and pause my wash machine so that way the panels can just sit in the hot water. And then probably every hour or so, I'll come in and start it for a moment so it can swish it around and really make sure that all parts of the panels are getting touched by the bleach evenly. And that's about it. It's probably one of the easiest projects you'll do. It just takes a little bit of time and some bleach, and then I will bring it. Hey guys, it's Jessie D, and we are back in it. Good! My Hey guys, it's Jessie B. We're back and it's the next day. So my drop cloths, as you can see, are behind me. I soaked them yesterday for a total of eight hours. I went ahead and stuck them in the dryer. And I actually went ahead 
and just got them hung up. So that way I can cut the bottoms off. As you can see, I've got my four panels yesterday. I did two panels. Um, but the previous weekend I did the other two and realized I should have ordered more at Amazon. So I ordered more and here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure from the bottom how much I want to take off. I want to leave at least a two inch allowance um, for my hem. And I'd like to have a little bit of hang at the bottom. So I think um, I already made a few cuts, as you can see. Um, I made a few cuts because it was just so long of what I knew I wanted to take off. So I'm going to take off just a little bit more now that I have it hanging and I can really see how long I want it to be. So to do that, I'm just going to pull it out. And I think I'm going to start with taking off about three inches for this. So I'm just going to measure where three inches is. I'm going to estimate if I lose about two inches, this will be the amount of hang, and I think that's going to be a good amount. So I'm going to go ahead and trim up the rest of these, and then we'll go to the no sale. guys so I'm here and I've got my drop cloth and since I went ahead and um, cut it down the middle and on the bottom my top hem is still there and my side hem is there from when it came so I'm just going to need to do the cut side get that together and then get the bottom hem up and when I say hem I do not mean technically hem I mean we are going to use some heat and bond. This stuff is amazing. I got mine um, at the local Joann's, but I'll go ahead in the um, description and link where you can get this on Amazon. Um, it's a great material. It's pretty cheap. I say it's like four or five bucks, and it will save you from having to sew anything. And I am not the most conventional sewer or anything of that type of thing. So I just have a towel on my kitchen table. Um, I don't have like sewing pens or anything and I don't even know if I cut in straight lines so I actually am going to use a level to make sure that when I create my crease and my seam that the seam butts up to my level perfectly and if it's level then I call it game. So what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to go along the long side. And let me grab my scissors so I can trim off any of this excess. First, go through and trim off any um, of the extra strings. This material is a little stringy. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of these trimmed off. I don't think they'd create a problem, but... Ooh, this one has a lot. And while I'm doing this, I just wanted to say, I did go ahead the other day and I did one panel already. Um, and it actually turned out really good. I wasn't able to get all of it filmed because my kids were being crazy. Um, and you'll see some of the craziness I deal with and some of the outtakes from today. But, um, so that's why I'm only going to be doing three today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I, I have my iron heated up is I want to just make sure everything um, is kind of flat. It's a little wrinkly. It's not in the greatest shape. So I'm just going to go through and just make everything nice and flat and straight. Get started is I'm going to fold over my first seam. 
uh, just like a half inch or so, and I'm just gonna go ahead and iron that down so I can create a nice crease. Like I said with my level, here's my method. I will hold my um, level, make sure that it's nice and level, and I will just put my fabric, I'll lay my flat fabric out, and if my fabric uh, is bunched up or not enough, I'll just kind of even it out. And if I have to change a little, I'll just go through and do that. And that is my level trick on how to uh, get a straight crease without all those fancy sewing techniques. Alright, so this first step. I'm going to take my heat and bond and I'm just going to roll out a strip and I'm just going to tear it off because I want to make sure that this first crease stays um, come together. Fold it back and I'll take my iron and um, the instructions say to let it sit on there for 10 seconds so I usually just kind of put it on there for a few seconds and then I move on. Do a few seconds more. And then I always go back and I add the steam to it. I feel like that has been. sure my line is nice and level because this will be the same that you see. Again, I'm going to go ahead and just get this creased. And then go ahead and add some more of my heat and bond and on this time I'm going to add it to the outside edge um, this outside edge here I'm going to add it so it's not as close in I want it to be out more
All right, you guys, so I'm going to put in some pictures of the final product. If this is a video you like or something that you would like to know more about, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you would like to get more notifications about videos I post, please also hit the bell. The bell will give you notification whenever I post something new. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to learn something and I hope you enjoy the possibilities that can come from drop cloth. Please leave a comment and let me know if you tried this process before. Please also let me know how you like the before and after.